What's up guys? In this video I'm going to give you guys like a couple of tools that are going to really change your perspective, really expand your mind and really get you much smarter than what you currently are in a span of a few months if you actually follow them. But first of all, why would anyone want to expand their mind? Why would you really want to get smarter? The reason we want to do this is not because of some pretentious reason, of some pretentious cause. We're not doing this so that we look better in front of other people. We're doing this so that we have a better idea of the map. And what do I mean by the map? I mean the map of reality. That we have a better understanding of life and the life that we live so that we can make better choices that are going to help us in whatever goals we want to achieve, right? For example, let's say you're someone who didn't have certain knowledge about economics or about stuff of that nature. In 2008, you would have been in a terrible situation during the financial recession. If you're someone who doesn't know about their health about the dangers of high fructose corn syrup and all these other things that negatively influence your health, you can probably be obese in a couple years or have some sort of health complications. The gist is having more awareness, having more insight about life is ultimately going to help you. It's going to ultimately lead to a better life. That's why I made this video. That's why I'm going to help you. When I embarked on this journey where I saw my mind transforming, it became addictive. It became an addiction, kind of like when you hit the gym and you see your body transforming. When you see your mind transforming, it's the same thing, right? So how do you expand your mind? Well, number one way to do it, the easiest way is to hang out with people that are insightful. Hang out with people that have interesting perspectives on certain subjects, right? If you hang out with the same group of friends that talk about the same old bullshit, you're never going to expand your mind. You need to hang out with people that are going to challenge you to think about things that you haven't thought of before. Challenge you to see the world through different lenses. These are the people that are going to change your mind, that are going to really help you to get to that position that you want to be in. And it's the easiest way if you saturate, saturate yourself with these type of people, if you hang out with these people. And where can you find these people? I know it's hard to find these people in real life, but the easiest way to find people like this is to go through forums, to join discussion groups. Like personally, I'm a part of a few discussion groups where I've met a lot of like-minded people, a lot of people that were incredibly intelligent, incredibly aware that I was able to um, meet up with in real life and discuss. And I find this to be the best way to actually get new insights. The easiest way is hanging out with people that are insightful. That's the number one way. Number two way, listen to audiobooks and podcasts on the go. I've been preaching this for ages on this channel. When you're commuting to work, listen to audiobooks. When you're eating your breakfast, listen to podcasts. There's so much information out there right now. If you really want to improve yourself, if you really believe in the Japanese philosophy of Kaizen, constant, instant, constant improvement, you're going to utilize any second you have during the day. That means if you're taking a shit, you can listen to all your books instead of going on Facebook. If you're driving to your friend's house, it's a 20 minute drive, you can pop in the audio book or pop in the podcast. There's a lot of people on the internet that are very insightful, that have very good ideas that you can get. Personally, I listen to Tim Ferriss's podcast. I listen to Joko Wilnick's podcast, Joe Rogan's podcast. I listen to, listen to a whole bunch of podcast on internet marketing you can listen to whatever the hell you want depending on what your goals are you can listen to audiobooks as well i know a lot of people don't like reading physical books you don't have to do that anymore you can find out what area you want to improve in and then hit that if you have panic attacks you can read books about panic attacks if you um have problems with your personal finance you can read books about personal finance via audio and that's a great way so that's part two get audio in your life on the go part three watch documentaries i remember when i was younger i used to watch a lot of documentaries right i used to watch a lot of documentaries about stars and nasa and space and science and things of that nature about astrophysics and i used to watch these daily on the discovery channel national geographic and channels like that discovery science I stopped doing this a couple years ago, right? For a couple years, I stopped doing this. Recently, I had a astronomy class for my engineering degree. And I ended up getting a high distinction for that class with bare minimum 
study because of the information I learned when I was younger watching those documentaries. All these things they covered in this class, I already learned from documentaries when I was younger. All these things about singularities, about the event horizon and black holes, about all kinds of bullshit, gravitational waves, all this stuff you can learn. You can learn from watching documentaries and it's a really fun way to actually get information. Personally, right now I'm doing a documentary a day. Before I go to sleep, I watch a one hour documentary and there's so many out there on animals, philosophy, war, history, psychology, whatever you want, you can watch a documentary on it and it's gonna expand your mind. While other people are watching the standard bullshit, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you can watch a documentary on Sigmund Freud. While other people are watching Prison Break, you can watch a documentary on Friedrich Nietzsche, right? That is how you expand your mind. Ultimately, expanding your mind is about the choices you make daily, about the choices you decide to make. Most people are unaware and don't have these perspectives because they choose the easier alternative. They choose the dumbed down alternative. They choose the alternative that's self-gratifying. They don't want to know more, okay? And the last thing I would recommend if you really want to expand your mind is to read philosophy, right? Philosophy is really going to challenge you to think. Philosophy is really going to challenge you to think in s at a certain level that's higher than what most people propose in day-to-day -day conversations. If you read, for example, The Republic by Plato, you're going to understand what Socratic questioning is. You're going to understand how to get to universal truths through questions. You're going to understand how to Use your mind in ways that you would never imagine. If you read Stoicism, you're going to have practical tools to help you in life and different perspectives to see situations that arise in your life. So if something bad happens, now that you have a new viewpoint from Stoicism, you're going to have more tools to deal with it instead of just reacting to the situation. You might use it as a test. So philosophy is going to offer incredible insights. And that's one thing that you can also do. So what do we have so far? We've got hang out with insightful people, uh, watch documentaries, audiobooks and podcasts, philosophy. Oh yeah, and one last thing, biographies. Biographies are great too. Biographies are great because they're pretty much giving you the rundown of someone's life. They're distilling all the lessons they learned and shoving in your face so if you really want to be insightful read biographies by insightful people read biographies of smart people of presidents i've got a biography by john f kennedy i've got a biography by nelson mandela i've got biographies by mike tyson there's all sorts of life lessons you can learn from someone else's life you don't have to go through yourself of course it's not going to be as good or as um deep as if you experience yourself but it's still better than the person who's watching Simpsons or whatever the fuck. So biographies. So those are the tools I'm going to give you guys. And if you incorporate one or two or even better, all these things into your life consistently on a daily basis, once again, believing in the Kaizen philosophy of constant improvement, you're going to see your perspective change incredibly. You're going to see your mind start. You're going to feel your mind start changing. You're going to get new ideas, new thoughts that you never thought you were able, capable of coming up with so i really encourage you guys to try those things and if anyone has any other suggestions put them down below i know there's plenty more but these are just some that i'm doing it's like playing games like chess and stuff like that put them down below and let's discuss it until next time guys peace